Hi guys, Judy here. Well, I'm back. We are home from Texas. Um, and I just wanted to touch base with everybody. Um, we flew out of here in a smoky um, flame of fire and we came back to more smoke. Um, as soon as we landed in Texas, my sister said, you missed it. There was a big earthquake, the whole house shook. And uh, boy, guys, we, it, it was pretty exciting. Um, and um, I just kept contemplating all these things, you know, and gosh, we're seeing earthquakes and so much political upheaval. And, and I don't know if how anyone can deny that things in the earth are getting worse. Oh, it's always been this way. No, you know, we've, it, it comes in cycles. It's, no, these are called birth pains. It's prophesied in the book of Revelations. In the book of Revelation, and that it's prophesied that they would continue right up until Christ returns. Well, they'll continue right up until Christ returns. Um, the rapture happens before great tribulation, and, and we can see that we're on the verge and the precipice of that. So our departure is so soon. But um, I just wanted to say hello to everybody. We're home safe. Yes, I just woke up <laughs> a little bit. Of, I didn't sleep a ton on the trip. I mean, I rested. It was beautiful, but it just seemed like um, that I, it was so, so many things to do. And, and, um, but so I'm, I'm very much rested here and start work next week. But um, I want to touch base. I hope everyone's still looking up. It's so glorious to meet fellow brides. I met. Michelle again. We have this thing where we seem to be meeting in August. Um, and it's pretty funny. I said, um, we better not be meeting August of next year. This is it. This is our last August. I met Alana, who I'd known since 2014. Finally, face to face. I had met another brother and his two boys that I had been talking to since 2014. I met Greg and Chris and Wyatt and Elijah this is their whole family. Greg and Chris Bostick, who are amazing. You might know their YouTube channels. Um, but their children, um, Wyatt, Elijah, Waylon, River. I didn't get to meet Adrian, but their other daughter, um, and Ivan. So awesome. He's, he's a, he's almost seven months old and I'm really honored to be his godmom. And um, I finally got to meet him face to face. I was there on the phone in the hospital when he was born. And there was a few little minor things going on that we prayed through together. But isn't it funny how God joins us and makes us family before his, uh, before we are family eternally in the next realm, which is any day now. Um, so, um, again, it's electric. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um to meet brothers and sisters, you know, a lot of us, I, I don't know anyone who's not isolated right now on this rapture centric walk as we wait for our glorious, um, groom to come snatch us up. Um, I pretty much don't talk to anyone local anymore. I, since 2013, our life totally changed when he fell on my son and announced his coming. And I've lived a very, um, different life. It's like it, God, and that's what he'll do. He'll come in for his purposes and change everything to get you looking up. So to me, it's very beautiful. It's very sacred to be able to meet fellow brides face to face because it's very encouraging. Um, and we love and minister to one another and encourage one another. And that's what this trip was about. It was about healing and deliverance and encouragement and, and love, you know, and, and um, when you're investing in, in these eternal friendships, you know, um, well, what I, what I should say is when, when you're talking to people that, you know, online and stuff that you haven't met because you have a bond because of, because of our common bond of what we believe, um, you're establishing connections that are your eternal. Like, I mean, this is so amazing because heaven will not be a lonely place. And when my son went there, he said, mom, everyone's really friendly, but like, isn't it going to be more special that we're able to connect now and just and, and it's no waste of time 
when you're developing internal bonds, I'd go all the way to, you know, to different states. I've been to Florida and South Carolina now and, and now Texas to actually face to face. And people have come here to meet us at our house, which has been wonderful. Um, and LA, of course, Tana baby, saw Tana. Um, so I think I've met at least 10 or more YouTubers now since 2013 face to face. It's always beautiful, it's always peaceful, it's always electric, God always moves and touches us. I'm changed. I said I'm coming back changed. And um, and I did. Um, and I just wanna talk about that. Um, I know it's weird, it's out of the box to live in the last moments before Christ returns. He's wrecking things in our lives. He's rearranging friendships and relationships. He's calling us to himself. So in that process of our groom being jealous for us, he's separating us out. He's drawing us to himself. He's, he's, he's developing eternal friendships. He's honoring our loved ones. He's honoring the family unit. Because if you don't honor your family unit and love your family, you know, the family unit is a reflection of heaven why the devil has, is trying so hard to break it apart. It is a reflection of heaven. You know, in, in uh, my little family unit, Nate and I, we, my son, we went and, and just shared God's love and received God's love as we met others. And, um, you know, after God, my son comes first. That's the family, you know, he gave me. Um, and my sister, who I love, of course, who stayed home and and um, she was keep giving me fire updates and earthquake updates. But, um, you know, just some highlights. We do have a, a date set of August 10th. And um, a friend of mine from Texas. Uh, I'll, I'll get into that in a minute. Okay, so Alana, who is just a hoot, who was wonderful to me. Um, she um, showed up at the hotel so Michelle had a to hotel, Lana had a to hotel. My son and I did, and the um, the Bostics were generous enough to put us up at this beautiful hotel. And um, we were planning on meeting on um, Wednesday night. No, I'm sorry, my days are all turned around. Saturday night, and getting together and having a whole, I call it just our God time, our Holy Ghost time. Uh, rapture centric meeting because let's just face it we just I mean the reason why we're all bonded and we're even meeting each other and coming together is because we were brought together by one um, common bond which is the Lord's given us revelation about his imminent return about his soon coming it's really hard to talk to other people that don't get it you know it's hard and um, and so to meet people and to share that bond is amazing so art we were gonna meet we're like we just really felt I just felt led we're meeting in Alana's hotel not mine not Michelle's and I just said okay we'll be there and um wouldn't we know that the hotel that we picked to meet in so Alana is going I told her go get early check-in they'll let you in she wasn't sure but her and I and Michelle were talking in the lobby and we've been through when you've been through date sets together with other believers it's like you've been through a war together okay there's nothing like date set a good date set to come and go to refine you to strengthen you, ooh, to get you mad. <laughs> God uses date sets to separate the wheat from the tares to beckon the bride. He said, I'll understand a blink of an awe and I, why he's doing it this way. But believe me, one of these days and one of these date sets, he's coming, that's what he told me. And I believe it and I know he is because of what he did to in our family with my son. And, and, um, I, and I know this is no doubt the imminent return I'm letting you see out my window. It's very smoky. I, I'm trying not to open it. I have it open to crack, but it's, it's crazy. Anyway, um, so Alana was talking about, oh, yeah, I'm not for much for date sets anymore in that lobby. And me and Michelle are looking at each other like, uh, we are, you know. Like, she's like, but he's here with us now. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know he's here with us now. But, I mean, when you're rapture-centric, you're looking at dates. You're looking at your passion main passion is Christ's return you know and Alana was kind of like just saying yeah well you know I don't need those date sets anymore it's you know we know he's coming unless he's here now and 
and all that. And, and it, it <laughs> I was just like, God, get her good. Get her good, you know. So she gets to the hotel. She texts me right away. She said, they did let me in early. I went straight to the bar to get me a beef brisket sandwich at the hotel. And the sign right in front of me says, Rapture coming August 10th. Rapture coming August 10th. She said, dang it. I didn't, just when I don't want another date, said I got one. We laughed so hard. It turns out Rapture is a band. And a friend of mine in, in Texas who came to visit us as well that I have known for all these years, it, it was one of his friend's band. Um, his, his friend's band. But it was such a flirt. She just, right in front of her at the, that hotel. Not my hotel, not Michelle's hotel, the hell we choose to meet in. And just, you know, these things. And people call us Rapture retards because of these flirts that God gives us. He gives us these flirts. He told me he'd be continuing to date set with the bride right up until he got here. He's done it with many of us. And I embrace them every time they come. When they're from him, of course. Not when they're like weirdos just making stuff up. But, and it, it just tickled us all pink. You know, and Alana was the last person that wanted that. We got to the hotel. We fellowshiped sweet, sweet fellowship. And just beautiful time of encouragement. And the Lord just tweaks us out, you know. A lot of what he does is supernatural. We just don't know why we feel so great. Me and Michelle walked away, left Alana's hotel, and she's like, I just have all this peace. I just feel so am amazing right now. Just this peace and this joy. It's just incredible. I'm like, me too, me too. You know, people pay big money to have what, what we have, just to have an ounce of peace, an ounce of knowing what the heck is going on, an ounce of freedom. We're so blessed, guys. And... And we're growing in those measures. So if you're hearing this video and you're like, I don't have all that peace. I don't have all that joy. I don't have all that freedom. It comes. It'll come. It comes in measures. It comes in stages. You know, as you draw closer to God and go after him and seek him and love him and make him first. And don't put anything above him, you know. Um, so I love you guys. I love you. I just wanted to, I'm going to make another video because I can only go under 15 minutes now and I know I I know you can press that thing to make it longer I used to make much longer videos but it's not they won't they won't let me and so I don't I'm just gonna make another one so that was uh one of our meetings the other stuff I'll tell you um, we had a bit of drama occur because the enemy uh you know he, he doesn't like unity in the body of Christ but God came through so I'm gonna tell you a little cool other Texas story um, and I will get back to you. So goodbye for a second. Video number two of our Texas trip is coming. And believe me, this was a Texas trip to see the bride. This wasn't some, oh, I'm going on a, you know, I'm going to go on a vacation. I mean, yeah, it's a vacation because everything we do is a vacation with the Lord, right? But it was also with a purpose to minister to the bride, to love on the bride, and, and, you know, and to get deeper with Christ, both with ourselves and with one another. And to beckon him to come, to watch him bring deliverance and healing and miracles. And so we had that. And I'm going to talk about that in my next video. Um, so I will see you in a minute.